this, uh, this short demo here shows what it looks like to install the charts uh, onto a uh, independent machine once you have them uh, registered to a dongle. So this is uh, what the dongle looks like. And then um, what I have done is I've gone to the uh, OCharts website and downloaded the charts and put the charts onto a thumb drive. So this is a thumb drive. It's a dongle. The dongle does not have the charts. It has nothing on it but uh, encrypted permission to read the charts. And then the charts themselves, I copy onto here, and I'll show that in a different video, that process of doing that once you've assigned them to a dongle. So a thumb drive like this, you would have, say, all of your charts that you have, plus I would have a copy of the open CPN, a copy of the open CPN, and then a copy of whatever plugins you want to use on that. Uh, in particular here, you would need the OSync the uh, OCharts plugin uh, for OSync charts. And uh, so that's installed here now. So that's all on here. Then, then these two things together are then a backup for all of your system. If you're underway and your co working computer fails you, then you can just go to a friend's laptop, open it up, install the charts and install the program and go and, and plug away. So here's what I want to show. This uh, this particular laptop here has never seen the site of ocharts.org and uh, it's been just absolutely clean. So the only thing that's been done is I install, oh, wait a minute, I just I opened that, wait a minute. So you want to plug in this before you open that. Uh, so I plug in the, uh, plug in the uh, the uh, dongle like that and then um, then open CPN okay then open CPN so there are the charts and they're all showing charts set Australia okay it shows how long they're valid for and so forth now um, Let's see. These are going to look. Th these are the lights on a. Ve okay. Let me just shut those lights off for a minute because you, we have to. Um, um, I have to explain someplace else. Explain these ENC charts. They have a certain protocol, and uh, it will look unusual if you're not used to it at first. But these are all the charts, and then you can just go and uh, open them this way and uh, zoom in. Um, this uh, the high the highest resolution. Then you just come out to the different scales. Um, okay. So now, what's been going on here? So what do we have? We have the uh, the charts are installed. I just put the charts down in this folder here. Uh, that's what the file looks like. It'll be download as a zipped file. Let me open that. And then this is this what all the charts look like in your folder on this computer. These are the actual charts down here. Look at that, like two, one, two, three, four point five megabytes each. These are the charts, some kind of encrypted format. These files up here are the corresponding uh, just text files. So this is just some message that pops up on the chart here um, about them restricted zone or something like that. So that's the charts and they're running here. And then let's take a look. Um, here is the plugins, the plugin. So you have to have this chart. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to have this plugin and that's enabled. And then here's the preferences now. But here's the point about this. This plugin gets installed here on the chart and has to be there. But we don't need, we don't do any of this. We, the chart system identifier file, that's for assigning the OSYNC charts to this system. In other words, this kind of a tablet plus open CPN5, this tablet and that. That would be, you do that, you create this identifier file and then you go online and then you're assigning them to this. But we've assigned them to the dongle. This is what you would use. This, this link right here is what you would use if you were assigning them to the dongle with this particular system. You have to, to get the charts assigned to a dongle, you have to eventually, you have to plug the 
plug the dongle into some system and then go online and then create a fingerprint and a fingerprint for the dongle and then uh, register that then with the OCharts website. But once that's done, you don't need to do that again. And, the, and if I buy a new set of charts, I don't have to do that. In fact, I'm going to have another short video where I'm going to start from scratch with another set of charts and do the whole process. Now I'm just showing what it looks like when you're done. So you don't do any of this. You don't have to do any of this. So that's cancel. So all you do is be sure the thing is turned on. Then you do have to go in here to this and go to charts and you have to tell OpenCPN where the charts are. Here they're out here on this desktop, uh, admin desktop, this folder, and there's a chart. So you have to tell them that and then that's it. But that's all you do. Uh, and then, then these charts are, um, these charts are then running fine, uh, on, on this system. Um, let me go back out. And again, a reminder over here in the corner, let me move this thing over a little bit here. Here is, this here is where you show the, um, the, um, chart outlines. Enable chart, here's the outlines. Here you go, the outlines on and off here. That's in the new system. Okay, so that's all I want to do here. If you open CPN without the dongle in it, you'll see the chart outlines showing up, but none of the charts will open. Likewise, if you're halfway through here and pull the dongle out, then you maybe get to look at the chart you're looking at right at the moment, but then nobody else will open. And that's probably, that's not a good procedure. It's some unusual behavior. Okay, I'm going to stop there with this and then be adding some related short videos to this process.